free to advertise. Uh, I'm done advertising. We're live now. My name is Garrick. Hey, I did it again, didn't I? Uh, I allowed it this time. I, I gave yes. it. Yes. <laughs> My name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling Falling Sky, the Gaelic Revolt against Caesar by Volko Runka and Andrew Runka and GMT Games. You all know that. We, this is our like second week in a row playing it, or third time playing it. Uh, joining me tonight, uh, our Badger. Hello. He's playing the Romans. Uh, as the Adui, we have Lily. Howdy, howdy. Surprising no one. Uh, as the Arverni, we have Drew. Hello. And I am playing the Belgics. Uh, this is once again the medium scenario, whatever it's called. I didn't have it, I didn't leave it open so I would remember. This is Reconquest of Gaul. There it is, thank the you. I knew, I knew yeah. Gaul was in the name. And yeah, I think well, that's all there to is. To be fair, Gaul is in several of the names of the scenarios. <laughs> well, that, then, it, then it was a less helpful metric than I realized. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but with that, I think we're ready to go. Uh, let me just say hi to chat. Hello, everyone. Uh, Fancy Zergling, thank you so much for the, for the two months. I appreciate it. And also, hey, B. Leonard. <laughs> hey, B. Leonard. Hey, Chocolate Blue. Andy Austin, Critwin Callens. How y'all doing? It's busy already. Let's, uh, let's get to this. Um, I'm first up with Colony. And also, the next card is the much less exciting Indutio Mars. Mars? Mars? Uh, and I'm going to take a gamble Can and I go bet? ahead and take colony, even though it's going to have bad long-term repercussions for me with Indutio Maris. We're going to try it. Uh, in a region you control, or has no control, place them. Uh, where do we want it? Feels like long-term Nervi is usually the seat of my power, but since I'm about to get wrecked, maybe it's better to toss it back in the safer Marini. Yeah, I feel like I usually see it go in Marini just because that's one more march space yeah. for Rome to Buffer dig into zone. that corner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm of that mind as well. So let's... Really really what you really want is for it to come out when you already right. have some pieces in Britannia. <laughs> but in this case no go. I mean, just say or no control. Um that is True. Oh, wow. I've never seen anybody do that. That would be a really interesting play. Actually. Heck yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> it, like, <laughs> yeah. Now, now <laughs> me and Lily and you are all going to be in a frantic race to march our asses out to Britannia so that we could take that <laughs> spot. Well, I get an ally there, right? So that's a start, at least. Oh, that's true. That's true. You yeah. do get the ally right away. That is definitely the way to go. That's a great move. Nicely done. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this over. You're gonna need well, whatever. Too late. I mean, we we can move it if you want. It's okay. I got it. Lily, you're up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. just like that, Derek has his victory condition. Yep, that's right. Oh, Derek, that's yeah, I guess winning. you're right. Yay! You're at 17, actually. Oh, I'm at 17. Yep. Oh, yeah, because it ups the. Yeah, you control this control now, control now, and yeah. it's worth two. Yep. Thank you. All right. Do I have music what coming out of my speakers? I... I do. I hope nobody heard that on stream. Uh, I'm sure most people don't think One Tricks Point Never is a suitable soundtrack for Falling Sky. Pretty sure anything you listen to is not a suitable soundtrack for anything. Um, but anyway. Well, thank you, B. Leonard. I did nothing more special than usual, but I appreciate it. Just turns out my usual routine is four hours of, of hair therapy. <laughs> I think I want to, I don't know. I want to march, but I don't know where I want to march to. Or do I want to march? I don't know what I want to do. Um, you know what, Chocolate Blue? 
I would rather the hair than the the allies, right? <laughs> okay, actually, I think I think I'm gonna rally. I'm gonna do something a little different. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one here. In here, and then we'll switch this out for the Citadel. And why am I on 90? I love how you, I was about to say, I love how you put it perfectly perpendicular with the space. I was on 90 degrees, so I had to get off of 90, which means I had to let go of the piece. Um, and then for, I can take a special ability, so I will be doing my Suborn, oh wait, I should make that. Other way. There we go. I'm gonna suborn um and two to put this here. And then and yep. two. And then that two. gives you control. Just uh send these guys home. They uh yep. don't, no, they, don't need, they don't need to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is the decision for the beginning. All right. On to the next card. Taking that as a yes? Uh, yes. Looks like it. Like I don't have to even read that card, so... Uh, I will take the event. And... There's no reason not to do it in Nerevi, is there? I don't think so. I think it's the play. Yeah, one, yeah two, that three, that four, certainly threatens uh, Ambiorix getting killed. If I mean, yeah. Garrick will have a chance to do something, but if he doesn't do something immediately, then he's in big yeah. trouble. So I'll let you take your okay. pieces, Garrick, and I'll do the flipping thing. We'll see if it was worth it for my end. Uh, that was definitely worth it from yep. your end. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> and it made my life very easy in terms of any cognitive load for the first turn. <laughs> yep, that's true. Take the event. Done. Um, all right. I will march uh, from here and here. Oh, boy. And probably here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be three resources. One, two. What? A, right click. There we go. Uh, uh. Yeah. Let's send one here. Um. Two here. Um. Oh, that just lost me. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes, that's right. Badger, did you gain two for your victory condition? Uh, no, I did not. No, he I'll starts at 14, so right. yeah, he should be at max. Yep. Uh, hmm. Oh, no, cool. I'm good. I can do, I can do the goofy trick. Uh, shoot, I'm going to get harassed. More than usual, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I see what you did there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Doesn't mean I have to bring a guy with me. OK, uh, I'm going to march from here, two spaces. So I'm going to mark for King Torix and one warband up here. Uh, I'm going to pause mid-march and do a special ability, uh, specifically Entreat. So we're going to Entreat here and here, I think. Uh, I'm too poor for that. Just one. Uh, so I'm going to spend one resource to convert this ally of Lily's into mine. So I'm down to six. 
here. Gross. Uh, and then I'm going to continue on my march, and for King Katorix is going to go back where he came from. Uh, however, because I marched through a space where there were three hidden pieces, Lily can harass if she wants to and kill off a warband. I will. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and then... I'm actually not going to march out of here because I did the ally instead of a warband, so I'll take a resource back. And I'm done. Okay. Clear pawns. On to the next card. <laughs> By the Lily Toll. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Toll. <laughs> Be Leonard, I'm playing like possibly the worst possible faction for like greasy hand shenanigans in this game. If I was A Dewey, it would be a whole different story, but <laughs> sadly I am not. Alright, Lily, what would you like to do? Yeah, Chieftain's Council, which is a cool ability. Yeah, I'm just kind of deciding what I want to do. Yeah, it's it's a cool little event, uh, and you can, um, yeah, you can determine the order in which everything happens. So it's it's a good card, potentially. So just kind of like looking and seeing what's coming up. It certainly did cool things for me last game. Assuming it's the same event, I don't remember it saying multiple players like this one seems to, but the art looks familiar. Uh, yeah. There are two different cards that have an effect similar to this, okay. where you pick where you pick multiple Gallic factions and they get to do cool stuff. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll take it. So the real question is, um, which region do you pick? Because it has to have two more pieces. So basically, you need to pick you and me. Uh, you need to pick Garrick and Badger. How is that? I have to pick with two factions and there? That's it. Yeah, yeah. The It's select a region with at least two non-German pieces in it. Right. So I think I guess the only I'm... options are these three. I, I guess I my brain thought you could pick a region that doesn't happen to have another player or two, but I guess if that's the case, I don't really care about this. I don't want to give. Yeah, you'd be giving me two free limcoms, but that yeah, I don't might be worth it for you to get two free limcoms. I don't know. It's up to you. It's not it's... two. It's only one. <laughs> uh oh, you're right. You're right. I'm thinking of the I'm thinking of the other one that does something like this. Yeah, you're thinking of the other one. Um, I don't know. I just don't like giving other people knowledge. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> well, you can take a full. Uh, Garrick will be very sad about it, but you can take a full <laughs> command well, and I, special ability. If I take a full, then then uh, Garrick has, has to. Garrick can get knowledge. Well, yeah, but Garrick has to give it to Rome as well, which is <laughs> right. It's you know not happening. Something like not ideal for him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I am just gonna do that. It feels better. Um, where am? What am I? Ow. Um. Um, is this still under my control? Yeah, you got, uh, you got yep. more there. Yeah, you got oh, way okay. more than I do. Okay, 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 okay. Well, okay, not way more, but uh, you have two more than me, so. Right, way more! <laughs> way more, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to do a march. Then to go one over here. 
to be annoying. Uh, send to this direction. Uh, send to over here as well. All right, and then uh, so wait, how much did I just? I just paid three. I need to pay three now too. Um, and then uh. Yeah, it was just two marches so far, so. It's three. That's no, three marches it's from here. Three? Here, oh, here. duh. Wait. Oh, I see. Yeah, you went their way. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, no, you're good. Uh, I'm going... Yeah, no. Now, friends. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will, I'm gonna do that. I will play that game all day long. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the game, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just mean I'm happy to trade those because my replacements are more efficient than yours, but you make money way more easily than me. It's a fun little uh, asymmetry between these two mm -hmm. factions. All right, yeah, my go? Garrick's up. Yep. All right. We're taking a limited command, and we're going to probably just march. Forget. Does my leader give me special rallying? Um, no. Your leader uh, improves your battle abilities, and that's it. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, other than restricting where you can do special abilities, right, right. Um. What's the right version of this play? I think what we're going to do is we're going to pull these four up into here. Um, yeah, OK. He He's doing, if he wants to attack on his next thing, he's going to kill three of them. Yeah. It, sometimes it's more efficient to just have Ambiorix leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, later. <laughs> it might be. I was thinking through the math right now. Does Ambiorx work on defense or just on attack? No, just uh, when you are attacking. Maybe it is better to send him elsewhere then. Yeah, if it was defense, then that would be the right play. But uh, his ability only comes into effect when he's on the offense. Also, this should be... Yeah, we'll just pull him back to over here. Oh, no. This is uncontrolled, actually. Pull the boring move. All right. That's me. On to the next card. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Lily's having a great day. Cisalpina. Uh, Cisalpina is the oh, supply region is, right. down here. So uh, the Alpine tribes are these three spaces. Makes sense. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. So do I want to kill Germans or do I want to do something? Heard killing Germans can be a smashing time. I certainly seem to think so last game. Um, yeah, especially since you can get the the awkward northern corner that's very yeah, difficult to I'm get gonna, to. I'm going to take that event. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's a bummer for yeah. Belgay, big time. 
and it so denies... remove all. I'm assuming that gets rid of the allies. Also. Yeah, it gets rid of the allies too. Yeah, it's all Germans. Uh, Rough so that times. puts Rome at 18. Oh, wait, no, actually, he might be at 19 now because Lily removed that ally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I also only got 17. What am I missing? That's weird. Uh, we probably just weren't counting earlier. It's actually 17? Yep. Okay. Um, huh. Yeah, we, we probably... Yeah, whatever. We must have just... Okay, so uh, no, no control we missed there. Somewhere. Uh, yeah, yes, no control. That is no control now. Which one okay. is no? Six? Yep. Okay. I will rally uh, in all the spots, I think. What? Mm, nah, this is not great. Without oh, further ado, you already made that joke, Thomas. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you get to reuse that one. Oh yeah, no, that works. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rally and entreat. Gosh, this is gonna be expensive. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I might as well go broke and then raid later. Uh, yep. So we're gonna entreat. That's gotta be next to Verkingatorix. We'll do a barkin. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm spending all my money. Um. Without further ado. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to entreat warbands in this case instead of allies. So that's one resource and two resources. And I'm replacing them with my own here and here. And then I'm rallying. Uh, so Verkingatorix uh, does allies and then does warbands. So I place the ally here because I control the region. And then I. Uh, Rally four warbands, three, two for the allies, one for freaking Gatorix, and then plus one, just uh, my generic bonus for being our Rooney. So four go here. Sounded kind of like you called him freaking Gatorix. <laughs> 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 that freaking Gatorix. Freaking Gatorix. Um, yeah, so we'll do an ally there. We will do an ally out here. And we will do two warbands here. Um, <laughs> come on. What do I want to do? I think. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think I will build a citadel in Kinabum. That seems like the right play right now. A lot of resources. Okay, card. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, you covered up three subdued spaces, right? Uh, yes, I, I covered up three new subdued spaces, yeah. So Rome should be a 14 yep. now. OK, next card. <laughs> wow oh There's man that came yours. out early that yeah. came out early yeah that's yeah that's not that's just a blank card it is indeed perfect yep no that's um, good for you because your capability is usually the target of that thing <laughs> if it can wee! come out i mean um, she also has first priority on it though so how much of a threat yeah, is that yeah. actually so it usually gets denied but sometimes if given the opportunity, pretty much everyone kills Convicta Latavis can, or whatever can it is. Can someone help me understand what these words mean? Uh, so in one of 
these three regions, because this is Kisalpana, Sisalpana, whatever. Those are the three adjacent to it. Um, okay. You can... Uh, oh, sorry, it's in each region? Yeah, it's in each region. You place three warbands, two auxilia, or one ally. Okay. So ignore the auxilia part. Because you don't have auxilia. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I guess you place could give... Or... You can either this... place three warbands or one ally in each region adjacent to... In, okay. in all of these three regions. Yeah. I'm allowed to go into this one? Yep. Yep. Huh. It's just... German. That's fine. I just... That's, just, that's why I'm it's... not used to being able to go in that area. Dark and gray and... All right, I'm going to stop... I, maybe Germans. Badger, maybe Badger can <laughs> convince you to be friends and give him some extra auxilia, but uh, <laughs> you never know. You you are allowed to place the auxilia, but it, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it. I I am good. I'm going to take the event <laughs> and bribe him. Trade for money. Um, He's got plenty. He does have. Plenty, does have I am broke. a good amount of money. Ask him what well, auxilia. Well, he's about to get four resources off of this event too, so. This is true, but I mean, I will always take more money. <laughs> right. Well, how much would it cost me to recruit? Uh, it will cost you zero to recruit, as long as you're in supply lines. <laughs> Which I would be. But yeah, this is, exactly. you know, a free, non-tempo recruit, lets you do whatever you want. Gotta be worth yeah. something, right? Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to... I'll give you one each, Lily. One each? I'd give you two two total. It's two auxilia, right? Yep. Yeah, I'd do that. Yep. I'm, I'm down for that. I like this, but I also don't actually like this as Belgics. <laughs> you can go ahead and put your... I'll get them. Uh, I'm gonna just... that there. You not yep. want it in Sequani? Actually, no, I'll put that there. What do I do over here? I want to do something because it's fun. Um, if you put an ally, it's likely to just get killed by the warbands. Whereas if you put warbands, then you can like march up here and place annoying blue allies in these spaces that will <laughs> be very unlikely to get killed off. So. I do like this idea. So, Less likely. Rome will go there eventually, but yeah, I just I don't want to put uh, allies out without any sense whatsoever. So yep. Uh, oh, and then I get four. Yay! I'm not as poor anymore, and that's it. Okay, command and special for me. That's pretty cool. Um. Let's I guess let's rally. Yeah, this is still a coin game, and you're still an insurgent, so <laughs> you can never go wrong with rally, rally, rally. <laughs> Maybe just those three... Um, yeah, I can maybe revise later. So that's going to cost me four altogether. Uh, let's go up to right Britannia. I have control, so I can place an ally there. Whoop. Um, oh, no, it's or, isn't it? It's not and. So I probably want to do the four bands. Um...
I only get one. You. Hmm. <laughs> I could do a thing or I could rally. And the answer is rally. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't even get a free plus one or anything. Blurg. Your warbands do one hit each when they're with Ambiorix. That is plenty powerful enough. He can't be everywhere. <laughs> well, sure. But that's true of everybody's leader. Lily can be everywhere. <laughs> the Adui go wherever the hell they want. <laughs> and Saborn on any space. Surprise, I put her leader in the game. <laughs> Oh man, we should we should try playing with. Divisio we should at some, point. Sometime. at some point. I didn't even know I had a leader. It's part of the Aria Vistus expansion. Um, it's oh. pretty cool. It gives you some neat abilities, um, but like any other leader, it then restricts all your special abilities to regions that are adjacent to your leader. Gotcha. Um, so you can't just like suborn willy nilly in like weird corners of the map, which is very strong. Makes sense. Um, so it's a little bit of a a double-edged sword for the ADOE. And also, you suck at battling, so it's very easy for your leader to just get killed. <laughs> We're going to go with the ally after all, and warbands in these. Uh, and just call it with that. I don't think I have a use for any of my specials at this moment. Um... I don't know, I guess I could Rampage. No, there's a, there's a fort there. Guess maybe I could do it to Remy. Lily will be right back. Hmm. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Sure, why not? I'll um I will rampage after all. In here we'll flip one. And so, Badger, you need to retreat that one auxilia. If I'm reading this properly. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, can't retreat there because you can't don't control go there. It's so it controlled. Go there. Yep. So it's got to. Yep. Yeah. You also could entreat the Germans to rally, and it would put one German warband up here, by the way, Garrick. It's only one, though, is the thing. Well, but then the next time you entreat, you get an ally down. And then the next time, it's two warbands. Uh, no, it's still one more man, but you get the point. It, it it does feel bad, but the the Belge special abilities are definitely no, I the least interesting when the Germans are not around your area. Actually, I do, I do agree. We'll go with that. I was thinking about it, and then I decided against it. But seeing this, no, I I do like it more. So we'll go with that. And then that's just it, gonna be... it feels very it feels very lame sauce, but really the the Belge is all about building up the Germans to be really big and then using them to go yeah cause havoc. I uh, realized if I was gonna do this, I need to do it. Start doing it early. Exactly. So yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, next, the Greenest card. Bridge event coming up so early kind of sucks for you because it really you kind of have to start over with the Germans, and that's never fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you put him in the game. This card should not be in here. <laughs> Let me just swap it real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this game All does right. not have the second edition cards, though. Oh, does this it? This mod does not. This mod's supposed to be the second edition mod. Does it really not? Um, like the name of this mod is second edition. Okay, well, maybe. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe the second edition version of this is just the expansion thingy that you can add. Uh, yeah, whatever. What do I want to do? Yeah, because it's got this card in the box over here. And that one, I think, is just the leader version. Um, well, yes, this is the leader version yeah. if you're playing with the leader. But I could have sworn there was a second edition. It'll say two, second in the top corner. Yeah. I could have sworn there was an errata on this card. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, now I'm going to go grab my deck and find out. <laughs> what do I want to do? Kara clicks through cards. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to play defense or do I want to play offense? You want to play bench. Yeah, no, my Divococcus in my copy is nothing special, nothing different. Okay. Yeah, I, I might just be. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm just wrong. Uh, so DJ 38s, we actually we were talking about this while we were waiting to go live, and I was like, wait, we should if we're going to talk about this, it should just be live. Um, <laughs> Falling Sky is maybe my favorite right now. It's it's certainly up in the top, uh, the upper echelon. I was saying beforehand that like I'm sort of my top three are sort of just this and Liberty or Death, and and I don't know how I would rank those individually within that that uh, tranche, and then going down a level would be like Pen Dragon. And then below that would be Distant Plane and, and uh, Cuba Libre. And that's sort of where things are settling at the moment. Well, there's this event won't do anything, so there's no reason not to take a special. Yeah, this is totally a blank event. Sadly. Can't use it on Divicacus? <laughs> yep. Um, almost entirely mechanical fancy zergling uh liberty or death gets a little bit of a boost for the setting and theme but otherwise it is pretty much just mechanical i just like the feel of the ancients ones more so far I think I'm going to uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to battle and besiege. Oh boy. Uh, Really? Yeah, why not? Where's the citadel? It's allies. Oh, you too, can right? rip allies too. That's yeah. true. Yep. So that's four. And we'll do the Germans first. Do they retreat at all or do they just die? I mean, I think no, they just Germans die way. never <laughs> retreat. Uh, yeah. And even if they did retreat, you're three, doing two yeah. hits, which would yeah. or three hits, which gets half to one. So, yeah, this piece yep. is dead. Getters. And now this one with the besiege, I can take the ally first. Yep. And then Garrick gets to decide if he wants to retreat or not. Yeah. And because I will do one, two. I will do two damage. Yep. And I would do one back if uh, I don't retreat. Yep. I think I'm going to go ahead and retreat. Um, I do half damage, which is one. Yep. Yep. 
then I can choose to move these out, and I think I will, and move them in here. Yep, you can retreat in place, or you can retreat over there. Yeah, I think I'd rather regroup. Um, the Romans are flipped to revealed. Yep. Oops. Almost. Yeah, CJ, it is another night of Chicken Little. And yeah, Fancy Zergling Labyrinth and A Distant Plane are both very topical, which actually makes me interested to play Distant Plane again, but um, it also doesn't quite yeah. feel like it's the time to do that. It might be too soon. We already know the ending. Right. <laughs> I, I like how people were asking Brian Train, like, how would you model this at Distant Plane? And he was like, you swipe all the pieces off the map. <laughs> <laughs> I moved my guy up to 14. I have no idea if that's right. Uh, you opened up a spot, so that means it should be. I think we're keeping track otherwise. Yeah, I, yeah. DJ38, we probably will get through almost all, if not all, of the coins eventually. It's definitely a goal. Um, I count 12 points for Rome, actually. She's got 13. 13. 14. 3 Germany. Oh, I missed, uh, I missed Helvetia. 3 Germany. 2 Belge is 5. 6 for home. Yep, I Seven, also... 8. 9, 10, I get 11. 13. There's got to be an easier way. Yeah, I can get 13, too. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten 13 a few times now, so I think yep. that's correct. Uh, there's a little bit of scripting in the Live to Your Death mod that just counts up. I'm sure we could hack that. Yeah, I've been meaning to look at some of the scripted coin mods and see how portable they are. I don't have much scripting knowledge, but I have maybe enough to you know, copy and paste some code. So yep. Reverse engineer <laughs> it. Yeah. DJ thirty eight. I am actually very interested in playing Gandhi. Did you guys uh, count my? Did you guys count my ally? Oh, you know what? That's, that's the fourteen. Oh, that's, that's what the I meant. 14. The fourteen. Yep, yep. The ally. Yep. Duh. Sorry, that just blended right in. Yeah. That's no. Yeah. Right. Well. Yeah. There's a disc on the map. You don't count it then. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. DJ thirty eight. I am very interested in Gandhi for the setting. Although I am concerned mechanically, I won't be as uh in tune with it. But I'm curious to try it. And, Mechanically, really? Well, I don't know. You said it was more in the vein of modern coins. So, like, currently I haven't enjoyed the modern oh, coins. Oh, sorry. Nope. Never mind. You're talking about Gandhi still. <laughs> yep. Talking I about was Gandhi. reading chat about uh, Red Dust Rebellion, and my brain was like... Oh, yeah. I am <laughs> very excited for, Red Dust for Red Dust Rebellion. I'm excited for a yes. lot of the upcoming coins. The, um, the Pure Land is another one I'm excited for. Uh, People yes. Power. I'm, I'm hyped. Uh, but, yeah, Gen Chaos. That's so cool. This is maybe my favorite right now. We're, we were just debating that. It, I don't know if I have a, a strict uh, ranking yet, but it is high up there. It's easily my second favorite behind Pendragon. Um, although I think Falling in the Sky is probably... Or, I'm sorry, Fire in the Lake is probably a slightly better game, but... Uh, I'm... Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? I don't have any money to rally, actually. So I will raid here. I'm going to flip two pieces for two resources. Uh, is there anywhere where I can flip and steal from? Yeah, I should probably la manage Lily's war chest. I'm going to raid up here instead. Leave so that alone. steals two resources from Lily. Lily Sorry, wants Lily. to be left alone to build stuff and make money. <laughs> and then she wins, and at the end, everybody goes, how? <laughs> Badger knows what's we up. Were, we were all beating each other over the head. All right, uh, next card. That was just a limb up because... Yep. Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right, Lily. Oh, is that Lost Eagle? It is Lost yes. Eagle. That's an interesting ability. Or event effect, you know what I mean. 
Oh shoot, there are no Fallen Legions yet. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Better make one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Garrick, can I uh can I convince you to murder this guy? <laughs> On your turn. Uh what's it worth to you? It's in your best interest. Um can I transfer you money? I think I can. I forget the rules there. This is why I have what's called a rule book. We what? That makes no sense. You taking the event, Lily? No, I'm debating. Barbarossa, this is uh, like six cards into the first season of Falling Sky. It's currently mm -hmm. Adui's turn. A faction may transfer resources to another during either's execution by the sequence of play of a command or event. Yep. A maximum okay. of yeah, four right. resources where... per such execution between two factions run by the same player. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's for non-players. Um, I mean, yeah, so look, you want to slow down Rome, uh, and I have no money, so I would give you some money. You have two money. give you very much money. You have two money. <laughs> I have two, exactly. So how much of it are you willing to give to me? Um, one. I'll take it for one, probably. I need to actually think about my turn, but this, this sounds like a good deal. What are we yeah. taking? Uh, Drew is negotiating a bribe with me for me to kill this legion. Gotcha. I see. Wow. I didn't realize a step towards victory was worth only one, one, uh... It's also helping me. So, like, I, and he has no money. Too, yeah. So I really can't... <laughs> There's like, only so much grease I right. can apply here. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do this because I don't necessarily want that event. Really? And I'm gonna. Yeah. I think you're pretty safe, Garrick. Belge has no interest in taking that event. Well, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm afraid of the bottom he one. Might, he, that's what I mean. I don't think Garrick's gonna waste time taking that event. But actually, now that I think about it, it might be a I'd rather play just... by the Belge. Be safe and I'm just not surprised you're not taking Caesar's Druid. That seems like it has cool long term value. You know, in my experience, it's really cool when it works, but it's actually hard to coordinate. I could believe that. Like I feel like it could be hard to coordinate. I don't want to waste my actions taking an event again. Wait, I'm I not know. doing anything I know. on the board. We'll make it more tempting. <laughs> 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 what just happened? This is the alternate. Divi Divikiacus, Cacus, Divikiacus, whatever. The Wikiacus. The Wikiacus. Wikiacus. The Wikiacus. The it gives you the the leader. Gotcha. That we were yeah, about. yeah. This would this would put the leader on the board. We there. don't actually have to do this. I was mostly being funny. I'm just gonna I'm gonna march. The the funny part is the leader's abilities are pretty much what's on this card. Uh, <laughs> he can treat Roman warbands and or auxilia as a, a Dewey in his region and adjacent regions. I think is the the deal. So it's not I as exciting I'm as good. you would expect. Sorry, Lily. Go ahead. I'm done. I'm I'm done. Okay, I'm just I'm just playing the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, I get a limited command. Um, yeah, if it's limited, I'm on board with this. So, Drew, you want to give me a resource? Yeah. I will definitely transfer you a resource. All right, and let's battle against the Romans in here. Yep, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six warbands plus ambiorix. Uh, so the warbands are doubled, so you're doing seven hits. Um, now Badger can retreat, which will have that to three hits. Um, And then one auxilia will die, and then he'll have to roll a die twice for the legion in that case. Can he not try the legion three times? Um, that's true. I guess if for some reason he wanted the auxilia to stay, then he could roll against the legion first. But I, if there's like zero <laughs> reasons to ever there's, take yeah. hits on legions before. But auxilia. gambling. 
A gambling uh, hall. The gambling hall where, is not here. Where are the blue dice? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might as well try to run, run away to safety. Fair. Yeah, I don't think so, you're getting much value out of standing and fighting. You'd no, have to, no. You'd have to successfully roll six saves, and then you would do one hit back. Yes. <laughs> so we will kill the auxiliary for one. Caesar's Palace is a gambling hall. <laughs> And then you can just chuck two dice because it's chuck not like two there dice are at the... additional pieces. Yeah, you got to take the two hits no matter what. Um, I forget. I are those which successes? One switch. Uh, is, is it is good? one through three are dead, so it's very he's dead. dead. Okay. okay. He's, he's dead twice over. Sweet. So that's one for the greens. Yep. Okie dokie, next card. Oh, do my guys flip up? Oh, yes, those are all active now. Or revealed, I should say. <laughs> New Midians. Cool. Uh, okay, yeah, I absolutely will take the. Where'd my little guy goal. go? Uh -oh. There's my little. Oh, <laughs> how'd I end up over there? <laughs> Probably me. Okay, now uh, the lost. Every time this card comes up, I have to go and watch season one of Rome on HBO. Yes, right. <laughs> okay, so the lost eagle chit will hang out in the adulation space, reminding us that uh, the Senate cannot move down. I don't know if I ever explained this, actually, but uh, if there are any legions in the Fallen box, no matter what happens, this cannot move down to adulation during the Senate phase. Gotcha. So so if like if Rome is like running away with it and everyone's worried about adulation, just killing a single legion oh, will turn it off. Guys. Um, yes. And this is just effectively simulating that, because now there is nothing in the Legion the yeah, Fallen box, even I though gotcha. there should be, technically. Yeah, anyway. Falling Sky Trivia. <laughs> that's that's what I do, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, event all done? Right, <laughs> yes, I'm done. Seems like an easy choice for you. Unless you're really afraid of tempo or something. Well, I don't want Numidians happening to me. Right. How bad could it be? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Lily does have first eligibility. But does Lily care? Well, Lily's not going to bother with that event, and right, Lily it's... really wants to be suborning as much as possible, or trading, if not. No, that's, so my, that's my point. Like, if Badger's worried likely... about it... Well, it's likely that you would be able to take the event. Take Eric, the event. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So he does kind of need to worry about it, which is unfortunate because he's got a full command and special ability right now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I will. I will pass. Okay. Next card. Well, that's nice. Um, Sappers. Can't believe we're not using the Exiles and Partisans deck. <laughs> do I want to do this?
Yeah, I'll take the event. I have to. I have to secure a supply line. I'm not liking the charity of others. So, <laughs> so we'll free battle here. And that's three losses then. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, that is three losses. Uh, so does that lose everything there? Well, well, you can you either lose everything, or you can retreat to reduce it to one point five losses, which is rounded down to one. But the ally has to take the loss first. Yeah, I'm okay um, with that. But yeah, you'll save I'll the retreat. two more bands. Yeah, I'll definitely retreat then. And then you can either leave them there or move them to. You an can adjacent stay in place control. or go to. Well, yeah, you two. you definitely want to retreat in place. Just go hiding. Yeah, that's fine. Solid. You don't definitely want to do that. <sighs> <laughs> so that's one one more friends. that's one more one more subdued all right and then it's lily's action or lily's priority yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna rally. Uh that's one for that. Uh one this one here. And then I will suborn. Yep. Hello, I'm back. Yep. All Not right. only should she, Barbarossa, I just gave it to her. Ah, <laughs> uh, the the fun, the joys of chat stream delay. Next card. Yes. And then I think we're in winter range. I said should maybe. Uh, okay. correct. It is in the last five cards. Technically, this card could have been winter. So it's in the last um, six cards. We would say in English. the The winter, the winter card is the is sixth of the bottom the five, five. Right, I know. It's shuffled into the <laughs> final five cards. Yeah. Um. Man, if only Badger had come after me right now. This would have been sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Well, uh, I am going to raid and. Um, oop, what is that? That's my victory marker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to raid and uh, probably entreats. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. And definitely down here. I'm like super broke, so this is command and special then? This is a command and special, yeah. How are you raiding here there. with no pieces? Oh, can you can you you're, not no, you're right. They're both revealed, so I yeah, I can't raid there. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure I understood what was happening. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Thank catch. you, Barbarossa. That is a good catch on the control. I didn't notice that we hadn't changed those. I'm not over there, oh, so yes, it wasn't relevant to me. It's fair. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm definitely taking the special because I guess if Garrick wants to cause me to lose ten resources, then <laughs> he can. But... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> my my fellow Gaul, why? Have a good night, DJ Thirty Eights. Oopsie. What, what's up? Everything okay? It's always ominous. Yeah, whoopsies and then dead silence. <laughs> I didn't hear him. Sorry. Okay, you're back. <laughs> no, I, I pulled out my headphones, so I had no idea what you were talking about. Got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will flip this guy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven resources. Uh, and then I will entreat here and here. 
So I'm spending two to replace a Dewey Warbands with my own. Unfortunately, I cannot replace Citadels with Entreat, as ridiculous as I would be. <laughs> uh, and then I also am going to raid with one of these guys here. Okay. Not both because I, I have mean, to I have, hit I have, I in have, to entreat. Yeah, I have zero uh, resources, so uh, sure, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make some money, Lily. <laughs> Garrick, make him lose all his money. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own pressing concerns. <laughs> but I can I can uh, select you as one of the factions for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Garrick, we're on a team here. We have a, a single unified enemy, and it is red. It's weird Roman. if if your enemy is if your enemy is Rome, why are you coming after me so much? Um Well, mostly because I'm trying to manage the amount of places where you can suborn me. Because you also require hidden warbands in order to suborn. Oh. I know you don't have any money right now, but uh Adui can really mess up Arverini's day. If I'm they... gonna I'm gonna state out loud right now. Uh, I just noticed both of you only have six allies out, so I currently can win. Yes, exactly. So that's the okay. other oh no, I'm tied. I'm tied. I can. I don't need to pull. Oh yeah, that's right. You would need one more. But but right, like yeah. that. That's what I'm saying. Is you're. I accept. Yeah. I... Begrudgingly, I begrudgingly accept. Rome. Rome is usually distracted, so it's pretty much down to Arverni to prevent the Adui from sneaking out a win. So I'm I'm just trying to do that without hitting too hard. You're doing great. Like you got a lot of pieces on the board. You're perfectly happy. <laughs> but Garrick, in all seriousness, if you do make him lose ten resources, I definitely will select you on the next one because it'd be funny. But as then, all. how am I going to entreat Lily's allies and prevent her from winning, Garrick? <laughs> yeah, oh, like. Garrick. Let's laugh together, though. <laughs> Let's laugh together. <laughs> as tempted as I am, Lily, I really can't. Except at the moment. Oh. Um. Hmm. What do I go for? Actually, Lily, what would it take to convince you to let me be one of the people that takes a limited command? Um, I definitely will be taking bribes, so um, probably money. Money. Because I'm broke. <laughs> me at zero, not so happy. What are you, how much are you thinking? Two? Because it's a limited command and a... Uh, Special, yeah. And a special command ability. Mm. 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 Yeah. If I you think need so. money, you can always trade and not take the event. I'm I mean, saying. I could take the event and trade. Um, <laughs> I could do both. <laughs> I would. I would think that you're not getting the best possible deal from your Roman neighbors on that. But. I don't need uh, I, I don't technically need my Roman neighbors if I do a limited yes. rally first and then I trade. Thank you. But I appreciate, no, I appreciate the you, thought. No, you do need the Romans. Why? If I rally right here, I take control of it and then I have direct access. Yes, so you can always establish your own supply lines, but if the Romans grant you their supply lines, you double the amount of money that you make. Right, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I would love to have the cooperation of my fellow Romans, but I also don't need them. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I'm saying, is I, I, you know, it's not required. Although it would, of course, be appreciated. 
So what do you think, Lily? Um... Three resources? Six, six resources. I can't do six. <laughs> three sounds good. I like three. All right. If we're, if we're going that way... If you agree to maybe one of them for three, then I'll go ahead and take a limited march. We'll bring everyone in here. Ooh. Um, so if he hits you first, he's doing three, and then you're doing two back. Lily's... The, the agreement is Lily's going to let me take the limited command with a free special ability. Oh, I see. Right, right. Yeah, that I get it. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so you're doing seven again, which is three and a half. So three. Because even if he doesn't retreat, he's got the Citadel. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's not bad. That's actually exactly what you want, because if you kill two legions, then I can win. So you really only want to kill one legion. Right. That like puts you in the perfect position to not worry about him as much, but also not have to worry about me. Exactly. <laughs> this seems like a slam dunk. Yeah. yeah, this is a good play. All right, Lily. You want three resources? Right. I do. They're all yours. All right. Um, well, since I already offered it to one human, I guess I can also see if, uh, Drew, you want to pay anything to, to, to be a part of this card? Seven uh, resources. Yeah, I would, I would pay <laughs> two resources to. Only two? On this. Price is, oh, the going man, price is three. Oh, is the price, is the the price, going price is me? at least three. Well, no, the going price oh, for Garrick paid three. Fine, so, I'll pay. No, I mean, the going price for you is Garrick four. Paid two. No, I paid no, three. He paid, two. he paid three. She wouldn't accept a two, so I, I went up to three. This seems like it's worth. Fine, I'll pay three. I'll, I'll take three. That's good. All I right. feel better. You're up first, Lily. I am. Right. Uh, did you get your three? I did. Okay, cool. I am now down okay. to four. All right. Limited command, huh? Cat is snoring very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just distracted me. Um, I'm going to... Let's go ahead and rally up in the there. Seems like a good time. And then I'm also going to just, uh, you guys can go home. I'm suborning, or yeah, suborning for my special. Yep, cool. Oh. All right, next up is Drew. Yes. Um I <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I like yeah, I guess I will just prevent Lily's victory and turn that around. Uh so my limited commands is going to be a march. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna march two. One, two. Makes sense. Um that hides these two pieces. Uh, and then I'm going to entreat this ally. Okay. Would you be allowed to pick up people during the move? Or drop people off? Um, so, you can all... It's not really a drop-off, because as long as you activate and pay for a certain region, you can form any number of multiple, marching groups and send them groups. in at multiple yep. different directions. I guess my question is, would the optimal thing not but, be to basically flip this guy by maybe dropping someone off and then moving him? Yeah, so so what I was going to say is, like, I guess you can drop off, quote-unquote, but really that's just a second marching group that goes in a different direction. You cannot pick up, Okay. however. So yeah, the, uh, it would be optimal to bring him along, but I can't. Uh, so that's it for me. That was uh, okay. my special ability and my limcom. All right, so mine is going to be a battle with ambush. Oh, gosh, that's right. You're going to get to ambush. Oh, man. Love it. Um, okay, so Caesar is not in the space. Yep. 
Um, so each last remove is one defender. So, no yeah, retreat, he's no not rolling attack. against defenders. Yeah, so it's pretty much these three are dead. No decisions required. And this is into the Fallen Legion's box. I feel that was well worth it. That was well worth it, yes. Uh, and then my guys flip. And that's the card. Uh, also, Rome is at 12. Do we all become eligible, or does she just become eligible? Wait, wait, wait. I can go yet. <laughs> no, no. Um, she's she's uh, all in the event still. Oh. No, it's um, just the one who activates the event is okay. becomes eligible. As sweet as that would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my desk. So I'm just going to put Lily back into the eligibility box so we don't forget. And then. Yeah, that's fine too. I don't think it really oh. matters considering the next card, I'm third. I control that now. That's true. Well, I guess if you, one of you passes. Yeah, like the, the next card might be a juicy capability, in which case someone might pass. Um, but yeah, I just okay. want to keep track in case it matters. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Good to play by the rules. When we can. <laughs> <laughs> when we remember the rules. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What you think, Badger? I feel picked on. Um, well, get out of my swamp. <laughs> I felt picked on when you removed six of my pieces. Yes. <laughs> We're going to march. I don't know what to do with my special activity, though. Uh, builds. Yeah, I'm going to build. You can build to remove allies. Uh, it's by far the most efficient way to do it, as yeah. long as you have the, enough money to do it. And Lily is dangerously close yes. to victory. So. Yes. Sorry, Lily, but... I mean, it's picking, fine. Picking it's off just, one or two would be a good idea. <laughs> it's it's fine. I guess I'm just getting attacked from multiple sides. I thought I thought that the Romans were just going after the other guy, the yellow guys, but whatever. I, I guess see how it is. <laughs> I can really only do one though, right? Because I don't have. I need the supply line, right? Uh, yeah, but it's it's pretty easy to make supply lines. Um, I mean. But I'm just gonna casually point out, like Drew's also only one away from winning. Like, no, I'm. No. I can't. I cannot win this round unless Badger very foolishly lets me somehow kill a legion. Which right, I'm not going to, to prevent. And yeah, Garrick's not going to do any more fighting because that'd be silly. Yeah, I'm. Not, I'm. I'm just. I have no idea how that works. So I'm just gonna point it out for no reason. <laughs> it is something to be aware of. You're not wrong. Like if I didn't know what I was doing, I would be like, "Yeah, let's get this legion yeah, in fort." Yeah, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just probably gonna march it out of there anyway. Yeah. Well, oh man, actually, this is <laughs> Garrick yeah. is also a problem. Yes. Garrick is also yes. a problem. Yes, if... Garrick is also a problem. <laughs> um, I can't. Oh boy, I can't plot more than one at a time down anyway. Can I? No, you cannot. Yeah. But still. Actually, I should it's count problem. my control. I don't think I've adjusted mine since getting this control. Uh, one, two, uh, no, you're correct, though, actually. Am I? Okay, cool. Well, 
just for you, it's really easy to just count down from 16 as long as... Uh, actually, no. No, I should have 15 you have on 13. my count. No, because you're missing you're missing two, three allies. I've got... Have... Four oh, shit, total. that's right. Britannia is really a lot bigger than it normally is. Yeah, four, eight, the nine, ten, your 13, no works. 15. Yep, you're right, you're right. All right, that is closer than I realized. I thought I was at like a... 14, I was going to get up to a 15 with like one rally or something. No, no. Okay. I'm scary. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, Badger, Whoopsie. if you empty out Provincia, I will leave you alone. Um, I mean, it, there's never really a good reason for Arverini to go into Provincia unless there's one or one of two event cards. I that... just did that. Oh, did you really? Yeah, he yeah. just <laughs> went and torched my Provincia. Yeah. But what did it well, he was, he was circumvallating my Elysia, as historically was done. And so I counterpunched well, cool. with a raid into Provincia. And then Garrick pulled back. And then... He pulled and back? Won. Why did he bother pulling back? Provincia is like, totally worthless. Because I had a bunch of legions that were lightly defended there. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay, so he it was, was not threatening the province, he was threatening the legion. Well, that it was both. both. Yeah, I mean, you know. Well, anyway, all that's, that to say, that's if, exactly you, the, if you for, take... For, for the record, that's exactly the moment where I pulled back and you popped into chat and like, Garrick, you're deathballing. Why, you, why would you ever deathball? It's never what you do. And I was like, there were reasons. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Still, well, you could have I don't just think, left I don't think emptying it out it. is in the cards. Because well, that's what just, I'm saying is, I am yeah, not going to go bother you in Provincia if you're worried about it, if you empty it. And I think you might need to empty it, because I think you need to go here. Well, and... that's, yes, no, I'm I'm thinking of the three, three space march. I'm just trying to figure out what else do I want to do? How do I want to do it? Yeah. But like, I, I think if you build here to remove this ally and build here to maybe place an ally, although you don't really need to build up there necessarily. But like, then you have a nice supply line going north through these three regions. Right. Yep. Um, and you can potentially block Garrick from winning and also Lily from winning. Yes. You got to play world police. Come on. <laughs> Well, I need to be adjacent to Caesar for the build, right? Um, yes, but just like I did earlier with for Kingatorix, you can march and then pause your march and do your special ability build in the middle of it and then continue marching up to nor up north. Uh, special abilities can be inserted in between marches in this game. So you have like basically all the flexibility you need to do whatever you want. Question is how many to take. All right. We're going to march and build. And we're definitely marching from here. I may as well get this. Auxiliary out of here. I don't know if that's. Eh, you know what? No, we're not going to. Leave them there to die. Um... I think I'm just going to do the one build.
Yeah, let's do it that way. Um, so we'll do the build first. And that costs me, what, two? Yep. And we'll get rid of lilies. And then we will march. I'm not emptying it out. That would be one, two, three. Uh, technically, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter because it's still legal. But you have to control the region in order to remove allies with builds. Um, but you uh, gain control as soon as you march these guys. Yeah, we, and then you we know yeah. to build and then you move on. Yeah, just worth clarifying. Uh, you know what? We'll do this march first. I'm going to take one up there. So I have to pay for my march here. Just two. Oops. So we'll do that. Then the build. And then these guys will do the one, two, three thing up to here. I'm just going to throw them in the. Sir. Sir. That's one, two, three, four. This doesn't seem necessary. So I've got control, I believe. I believe you. And then I have to move it up for Lily's ally removal. And that's it. OK. Next card. Yep. Sacking. Wow. Cards hate me. <laughs> they liked me too much before. Hate you. I think I've had one, no, two cards that were mine and they were next to each other. <laughs> yeah. Right at the start. Oh, man. I keep getting all of the good cards that remove legions without me having to fight. Uh, and Rome is off preoccupied with the Belgae instead of me. <laughs> Come after me, Rome. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, all right. You should um, blame Hector, Garrick, because that opened my eyes to the Belgic threat. Oh, did you not know that they were a threat beforehand? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the Belgae are always a threat for early victory. Yes. Belgae and Adui are usually the like turn one or two or winter one and two potential victory people. Uh sometimes Rome too, but not as often. Anyway, I if I take an event, I give Garrick uh actually that's probably fine. Because even if he does take a full, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a citadel. So yeah, yeah. Badger will lose three auxilia and then hit back for five. So Garrett Price run away. Um, I don't think I'm super worried about that. You're revealed. So you can't rampage. Um. Why is the cylinder not? Am I lagging? I am. OK, there we go. I will first do hmm. Too bad there's no special ability attached. Uh, yeah, OK, cool. Uh, so I'm going to do a free rally for my full commands. Um, so let's get two warbands up here. We'll get an ally over here. 
we'll get an ally over here. We'll get uh Yeah, we'll get an ally over here, and also warbands, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, what do we do with Kingdom? Let's do warbands. I think I've actually successfully neutralized Lily winning immediately right now. Um... Yeah, I don't need the extra rally. So that's good. Uh, that's my rallies. Uh, is it? Oh, shoot. Am I misreading that? Is that free? It's not free. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Right, I have to prioritize. I only have four resources. Um, so we're definitely rallying here. We are definitely rallying here. Um, and we'll rally rally here so i need to put this ally back and these two warbands back you doing one command and one limited command in either order of free no battles that's happening oh it is free okay yeah yeah yeah. i yeah the wording on that threw me off it is free we're good i'm going to redo what i just did <laughs> <laughs> um well, in that case, if it's free, I might as well get uh, a couple more warbands out somewhere. I think I think that actually might have been all the places I can do it because this is not a home region. Can I put any more out without getting without having allies on the board? I cannot. Okay, so that's it. Uh, and then my other my limited command is just going to be a march and i'm going to take uh two three up here sir <laughs> i'm just doing my part to make sure you don't win somehow i'm already not winning i'm down to 13 well there are shenanigans you never know what cards are going to come up all right that's it for me you're up Garrick. Um. All right. I have oh, a you know what? You can. I'm gonna. Oh, this is probably dumb. Uh, it's fine. I'm gonna send all four because you could rally there. Yeah, I mean that's and almost get those two points back. Almost definitely what I'm doing. I think. <laughs> well, I don't know. March, maybe. <laughs> yeah, these guys probably need to book it out of there. <laughs> If you don't want them to die. Yeah, maybe it is March. All right. Spend two to march from here and here. Um... Yeah, we'll send four up here. Screw you. Uh, and then... <laughs> nice. Flip these people. Head back to here. Ah, I'm just going to be that in the overflow box. It's enough. Um... No, all right. I think that's going to be it. I can't do a special because I moved to Britannia. So... Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. Oh, and I believe I have control of that again. Do I want to raise that? I don't think I want to raise that. 
raise is a great way to get money and yeah. it permanently well not yes. really but but you should be I think I'm easy. better off with a fort there than I am with raising it um oh you mean the event I see yes yes if I take the event the only place I can raise is I thought you were talking about C's. Now is a really good time for a C's. Yeah, I could do that too, but I don't have to worry about the event hitting me. I think seize and build is the way to go. But I can't build now because Caesar's way up there. Um... We have to worry about I can't build where I seize, though, right? Well, I can, but it has to be a fort. And then, um, yeah, you can't. Yeah, I can't do a. I can't. Yeah, the tribes don't like it if you seize and then want to be friendly. They sort of see right through that. Um, Yeah, let's do let's do a seize and a build, I guess. Uh, we'll seize here and here and. Where do we want to do it? Or do we want to do a scout? Nah. Yeah, I kind of think the only reason to build would be if you could remove an ally somewhere because you're right on the edge of yeah. being pushed into uproar. And so removing an ally is kind of high priority. And if you can't do that with build, then scout is probably better because you can like scout into a new area, gain control, and then seize there. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, you have enough auxiliary on the board, you probably pull that off. The movement part of Scout does not require you to be adjacent to Caesar, just the reveal part.
Let me think about this. I don't feel like I've got a lot of good. I'm going to disperse in these three. So I get how much? Uh, so each disperse marker is worth eight, or I'm sorry, six. Six. Um, and then each subdued tribe where you control is worth two. two. So two, four, uh, 12, uh, 20, 28, 30. Looks like 30. Because yep. like They're season do... three, so you might as well season Provincia because it gets you the two. Yeah, 30. Sounds right. Is there a way to do plus 10? Gosh, I wish. <laughs> That's the downside of these counters. I actually don't mind having resources on the edge track. It's almost easier than clicking a bunch of times on these things. No, do I want to scout? I mean, they could just be like the counters that are used for 18xx, where you can also type in them. That's true. Even that, honestly, though, is more work because you have to click to select and drag, which is already the action you would be doing to move a cylinder, but then eh. you have to type in them. Eh. It, it makes sense for 18xx because there's a lot of big numbers, but in this case where it's just like 40 and you never spend more than a couple at a time anyway. It's those couple at a time where it makes you feel like I'd rather just have a button to press most of the time and then have the option of doing the big swings. I might as well scout. I can only flip within one of Caesar, though, which means I can only flip here and here. I don't want to disperse my guys too much, so... He can just scout in place, right? Uh, this guy. yep. Yeah. So I mean, winter is winter is coming, so it's probably not gonna do much. But if you're scouting anyway, can't hurt. Might as yeah. Well it. So we'll scout here and up here, and we'll just send one in to do that. So that flips up two in each place, and then you put the marker on them. Yep. I think the marker's yep. by you. Yeah, it is. Oh. 
That's it. All right, Lily. I don't think that was especially... Well, it got me a lot of money. It got you a lot of money. I did not realize you could do it for that much money. But I also had a very different board state last game. Yeah, and it's really important for you to lock down... It, Rome really wants to make sure that all four the... of its markers are out at all times. So mm. getting those three down mm. before winter comes was really important, more so than the resources. I think I might just pass. Mm, you're going to be second on this one, too. I'm well aware, but okay. I think, I think there's a higher chance of... I, one, I want resources because I'm broke. Two, I think there's a yeah, chance that Garrick might take that event, so... It's fair. I might have a better secondary action, uh, so I feel like passing is, a good point. Yep. Passing fair, is fair. better for me. All right. Hey, it's the winter. <laughs> um, yeah, so unfortunately, the frost does apply to Arduena because it is a march. Um, so that event is much less interesting. I thought you could march on the event. If there was, uh, if an event if an event gives you a march command, then you can't do it. If an event says move pieces from region A to region B, oh, then you okay. can still it do says it. on the last event card before each winter card commands by the sequence of play, including Germanic commands via Belgic and list, may not use march. Oh, really? Wow. Uh, that seems pretty clear to me, actually. Got to get one real wrong every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, the puzzle. YouTube gets to define it for us. <laughs> yes, I look forward to the YouTube comments making fun of me later. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you played this game? Well, yeah, that is a that is a good event for you. Although right now, maybe not so much because normally it's used to go kill a bunch of Romans, and you actually can't do that right now because I will win immediately. Because <laughs> I am at nine allies, which is the easy part. But if you kill any legions, then I you achieve the hard part. So I'm not actually sure what you do with that event, which sucks because it's so fun to do stuff with it. You could march into Britannia. And That's true. You could come kill me, but you, he could kill yeah. me. Well, yeah, if he attacked without using the event. Oh, no, wait. He 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 can't, because it, it targets only Nervi and Treveri. Oh, that's right. Yep. It's not a free, free march. Right, yeah. You want a free free march? You have to go to at rebates dot com. Am I wrong? Or can yeah. I resolve the event, oh. move nine pieces into Nervi, and then rally there to place one ally? Oh, shit. Uh, yes, that seems like it is most likely the case. Um... Free march into either or both, then execute a free command in one or both. Badger yep. has yeah, eight total pieces have there. Nine pieces. I have. I think I have enough that I can move. You actually need ten in there because of the fort. No, I'm counting the fort. Oh no, does the leader count? Uh, yeah, leaders are a piece. So he's. Oh, that might that might block it. 
Let me see. I think you still have 10. That's oh, no, because my leader your, counts too, doesn't it? Your leader counts yeah, too. Yep, yep. I was nulling out the leaders. So, yeah, because I need to... Yeah, so if you pile in everything. Everything except one, I think, because I need to leave one back here to rule that region. Um, three to there too. Yeah, you need three. Yep. Uh, and this gives me... Actually... Man, I, I'm mixing up this game in Pendragon. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you don't need warbands for control. So yeah, I, I think you're good there. No, I mean just to outnumber. Just yeah, to uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy has to stay, but I I think you can leave this empty. I think the allies just uh, control. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Just, yeah. So then I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, and then yep. I can take the. Rally to drop an ally in that remaining spot, and that gives me one, two, three. That's nice. absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, oh, and then luckily, I flip all my pieces there to hidden. Right. Um, luckily, we can still stop you. <laughs> as long as... Who's next? Me. Um, okay, yeah, so, uh, Lily, if you just march one piece in it's here frost. and suborn this ally... I can't frost. march! You're right. <laughs> I think that's it, yes. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, wait, Unless wait. Lily could pass and you could... I was gonna say, Lily could pass and you could do something do? up here. Uh... You can, you can attack an ambush, right? Yes, but that's only gonna kill. Oh, perfect! That'll yeah. kill enough. Yeah, you just gotta, yep, you just gotta yep. kill one thing. Yeah, so Lily, you have to pass. <laughs> or Lily could not pass, and everyone goes to bed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but like, here's the thing that I'm debating is I, because I split up my things and I only have two regions that I control, I feel kind of like a dead player slightly because I don't even think I'm gonna get enough money from. Winter to help me get back on my feet. Nope. Uh, Adui doesn't care about control at all. Um, you're going to. So Adui. Adui gave... cares about control for trading. Adui That's 100% cares about control for trading, which is my money income. Well, no, because you don't actually need to control. Most of your trade income is just off of allies and citadels. Control helps, but that only gives you money off of subdued tribes if you control it. You don't actually need control for. But I need, I need your approval to use this one this ally and i have nothing else in that chain it's just these three no um let me make sure i'm remembering all this correctly at least uh, that's how i thought i just i don't feel like okay, i've yeah. got so a so good this foothold. ally this ally is in uh supply lines because well, rome almost always gives a supply lines but assuming rome's give it, gives it to you this ally yep. can trace back here. Mm -hmm. So you're making money off of that one. I you're thought, no, because last, two. okay, maybe I'm just confused, because Garrick, I swear the last game we played, I didn't have the ability to use any of my allies that were not under my control. What are you talking no, about? You, were, you guys were probably playing it wrong then, because Adui cares the least about control out of all the factions. Like, I, they, all well, of their stuff does not require I control. thought that I needed, um... Verney's uh, approval to use this ally in my trade. Nope. I mean, it just has to be able to trace a supply line, and supply line is, can it go through regions back to Cisalpina that either you control, or are empty, or are agreed to? So, like, this region right, the agreed, is Roman control. Right, but, like, going through the, the region it's in, I thought would be agreed to. No, it does not count the region that it's in. <sighs> okay, I'm just getting confused, because that's why we, I thought the way we played last time. Or you're saying been. that that wasn't that counted. <laughs> Even still, I only get, what, like a six? Uh, so you get resources equal to double your pieces? So uh, yeah. Drew, the rule for supply mm -hmm. line under Roman command says including the region where the action is to occur. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, sure? I, I feel like a dead player because I've got these two. <laughs> Well, you've got this one, and there's a supply. Yeah, line. you have this one. You're, you're. Either way, during the upcoming winter, you're. I mean, the but I, does doesn't the Germans cut that off? 
No, no, because we can, can trace through Rome. Oh, yep. okay. Um, Gary, can you read the supply line thing? Again? Yeah, uh, a supply line is a chain of adjacent regions reaching a border with Kisalpana, Sislapana, whatever. Uh, each region in the chain, including where the action is to occur, either having no control or under control of a faction that agrees to the supply line at the moment that the actions region is selected. Germans never agree. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's good. Check the. Can you go check the. Um... The trade rule? No. Well, actually, it might be worth checking trade, but never mind. I'm I'm thinking of winter, and that doesn't matter for Got it. UE because yeah, trade just says supply lines. Yeah, trade will just reference supply lines. Huh. Told well, you. Number two, incorrect <laughs> rule today. <laughs> <laughs> you should just never listen to me. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I remember us having a big debate Lily, about this last game when you weren't here, so that's why I wanted to bring it back up now that you are. Lily, you probably should play someone other than a Dewey next time, because you don't seem to jive with their playstyle. No, I totally do, but I chose something up here, which is not great for the way my everything works. It's, it's hurt your economy, for sure. I, my, I, I decided to go for a game uh, immediate, like this like kind of gain of for victory over my own economy. And by doing so, I shot myself in the foot because basically because you guys decided to kind of hardcore line me and corner me here, I just don't have much I can do. So I feel like a dead player. Yeah, I mean, if you if you do every trade is going to get you uh, under the current setup, probably eight resources pending whatever Rome asks in a bribe, but they're wealthy, so they probably won't ask for very much. Right, but still, uh, and like you're, and even you're getting fourteen resources during you, you. It's very hard to not have money as a Dewey. You make a lot during the winter quarters phase because you're guaranteed. Uh, you basically always make four resources, and then you make double your allies. If I'm remembering correctly, now you have me doubting everything, Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> well, just know the rules better. <laughs> I know. Uh, so you have five allies out. You're doubling it. And then you're going to get an additional bonus plus four just for that's like your faction thing during harvest. What's the question at the moment? Uh, I think Lily is suggesting that she should. No, not that. I meant, I thought there was a rules question. Oh, there is no question. No. Okay. Other than the one that I was previously incorrect about <laughs> again <laughs> <laughs> on stream. Well, I'll. I expect Be YouTube to make fun of me pass. now. <laughs> no, Lily, end it. <laughs> a Dewey are definitely still in this game. A Dewey are always in the game. It's hard to kick the A Dewey out permanently. Um, what am I doing again? That's right. I have to battle an ambush. You're passing. Yep. <laughs> so I battle here with an ambush. Um. Oh, shoot. Nope. I cannot ambush outside of for King of Torix's, Hey! Uh, look at that. Um, you might still do enough damage, though. What are you doing? Else. No, I won't do enough damage. Or, I mean, it, I'm going to do... I'm going to kill two pieces, and then you are going to kill one back. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's not enough. I needed to protect everything. Yeah, um, that's right. You can't ambush up there. Damn it. Is there... That would have really made, gotten you made fun of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't know the rules, then cheats. <laughs> if you can't hurt Garrick, we can't continue. Yeah, no, I think we're... I think it's just like, it. we left it's, him just, it's just, just like Hector. It's just Hector. like Hector. <laughs> um... And that first event really is really helping yeah, you that, here. Yep. <laughs> that yeah, plus no, one. Like, I, like I said, Colony totally is fascinating and warps the game around it a lot. Uh, and I said, you're going to have a really easy time winning. And then I also said, you're going to be a target. And I think we didn't target you enough. <laughs> I, I, in fairness, I did get a lot of targeting. I just 
The, it, uh, I mean, this, this event... We didn't hit you hard enough. ...was exactly the right time, exactly the right That's thing. That's true. It was the perfect timing. Like, I, I saw it as soon as it came out on the upcoming. I was like, oh, what? Oh? Could it be? <laughs> but then I counted up and I was like, oh, no, I don't... There's, there's too many Roman pieces in this region. I don't have enough in adjacent. Yep. It wasn't going to work. And then uh, something Badger did opened it up, moving, like, one in here. Yeah. Yeah, he moved one out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that is it. There's nothing. I mean, re really, like I shouldn't the, have focused on me. Reasons. Clearly, I mean, it's not it's not the Arverni's job to police Belge. I can't really do a whole lot of. Well, that. I'm saying, well, Rome also attacked me, so therefore, clearly, that <laughs> yeah. was the one mistake. That, that was the one. <laughs> Yes. Yep. That it. That was it. <laughs> Most important strategy in Falling Sky is blaming the Romans for all your problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely right. <laughs> yes. The Romans do kind of single handedly have to balance the game a little bit while the three Gauls sort of squabble. <laughs> Honestly, I do not squabble. <laughs> I just sit. Well,. You and me, we were, we were. Uh, it's because you, you came after uh, me first. No, you came after me first. Thank you. No, very much. no. Yes, squabble, no. squabble, squabble. Guy. See, <laughs> see, squabbles. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, good game, Garrick. There's really like the only people who can affect you are people who are in who are in these three regions. Right. So, that was my plan. And... Yeah. This is my. This is my only. Or I'm the only one who can do anything. I'll. I'll battle an ambush. I guess. Yeah, and then I just off, I go one fight back. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. not ambush. I just normal battle. Right, right. Say. And we're all revealed. Um, but yeah, you still control it because of that. I really needed Verkingatorix to be closer. I honestly almost marched him over here two turns ago so that I could set up to entreat your pieces up here because mm -hmm. it would be a problem. Falling Sky is pretty much Gauls arguing in a homeowners association <laughs> while the Romans try to break up the party. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. All right. Cool. Well, look at that. Yet another Falling Sky game ended on the first winter. Right. We, we haven't made it past round two yet. <laughs> we'll get there one day. One day. Um, oh, fire in the lakes eventually. Train based. We're 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 just taking a minute to to reinforce some other coin games before diving into new game after new game after new game. But it it is coming. Don't you worry. I mean, I would hazard a guess that it's maybe the highest priority next, except for maybe like I. Uh, I thought that was more Pendragon. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fair, in fairness, I do want to play the short scenario a lot of Pendragon. Yeah, isn't that uh, near the top of the list? We gotta, we gotta play a game that you've already played again. It's true. So that, it's true. You know. I also want to play both the short and long scenario of Liberty or Death. So there's that. Yeah, we gotta play and the, the two, two player, player scenario. Yeah. 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 But mostly, we gotta play more Pendragon. Well, I don't know about that. That that might be not not so true. <laughs> but yeah, fire in the lake eventually. You're killing me. Hey, I, I liked it. Just it's no falling Scott. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to say, I do really like the events in Falling Sky that I've seen so far. That's something yeah, that... that's drawing me back to this game is the events feel really interesting. Yeah, that is uh, what really uh, I'm glad it, this is my first coin game and I'm glad it was because uh, I really fell in love with the dynamism of the event deck. Mm -hmm. And then I played other coins that are much more focused on the ops, and the events are kind of lame, like intentionally so. Yeah. And I was like, this is not, not as exciting. Yeah, I remember we were talking about this a little bit last time when you weren't here, and, and uh, was it Chaos Goat or whatever from the coin Discord mentioned that some people think events in coin are a trap? And that's really interesting to me because it feels like the whole eligibility system kind of falls apart if events aren't a real threat you know yeah it kind of depends on the game like, right of course um like a distant plane is definitely one, definitely one where i feel just the modeling that's being like the simulation that's being 
uh, played out really wants you to spend a lot more time doing ops. Right. Uh, and so yep. all the events are kind of lukewarm there and not very exciting. Um, so, I, you know, it really depends on the game. This, this game, I think probably this one ends Pendragon uh, probably have the most powerful events, uh, like across the capabilities and just the single use events. So they're very impactful here. Like they're kind of on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. But then on the opposite side, you have like a distant plane where all the events are like not very powerful and not very interesting. Gandhi has the same thing kind of going on. Like a lot of the events are just duplicates of each other and are usually not. There's there's some powerful events for certain factions, but not very many. ADP is very situational, it seems like to me. Yes, yes. I, it, depending on how they fall and what's going on, sometimes an event can be pretty good to really good, especially the Pakistan stuff, I think. But that's true. That's I, true. I do remember in our um, one play some of the events being impact. Like so, some of them when they came out, we were like, oh, whoa. Not like all of them, but every now and then we had that happen. Yep. Yeah. Fire no, in the Lakes, I mean, every, Fire in the every... Lakes got a pretty good balance, I think. Yeah, train yeah I really like the balance in Fire in the Lake. Because you you do have some there are some really good events and then the capabilities aren't game breaking, but they can give you some pretty good choices to think about anyway. Especially if I think sometimes if you get the right combos, the event the capabilities can really help. Yep. Or hurt, depending on your perspective like if the if the nva get the right things to help with the trail that can really make a difference yeah um yeah the the two vc capabilities um uh gosh there's one that lets them if i'm remembering correctly they can like ambush from adjacent lines of communication that one is like bonkers um yeah that the balance there i feel is very good so all all that to say the it just kind of depends on the game and some games hew more towards powerful events and some more towards weak events and it tends to like the games with more powerful ones and that's probably what goat was getting at um i feel like he has played more a lot more of the modern ones and i think it's probably true that often events are more of a trap in a lot of the modern games yeah, that jives with what I've seen of what he's discussed. Like, he's played more of the modern ones. Yeah, it, especially in short uh, or medium scenarios. Mm-hmm. Like, the the reason the balance is really cool in Fire in the Lake, honestly, is because uh, the best scenario, I think, is the long uh, one with the period events. Um, so because the period event deck is sort of, like, partially stacked, you get a lot of the really interesting capabilities early. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. And, you know, it's six, uh, I don't know what to call them, campaign campaigns, whatever, rounds. There are six prop cards in right. the full game. So, it you know, there's a lot of gameplay in there where you can, you have the time to take advantage of the capabilities. Yep. Whereas, like, it isn't playing, I feel like medium scenario is the way to go. And even if you get a capability on, like, the second round, there's just not quite enough time to take advantage of it. Because the capabilities there are just like medium good, <laughs> whereas all the ones in this game are like totally game changing capabilities. Like when they come out, it, it's like the faction mix changes almost. Coos, right? Yeah, thank you. Train based gameplay, except for uh, Divya Kakas, apparently, who is not game changing. <laughs> yeah, that that one I think is the weakest one in this particular game of the capabilities. Um, last time we played, the capabilities were too good. Right. And then Garrick and Gar- Garrick and I are are facing off, afraid to cripple each other. And then and then Hector won. And then Hector his. sneaks in the back door. Yes. You wouldn't yep. have won yeah, without he, his. So. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You. <laughs> you can't. You cannot ignore a Bell Gay player with Kamius. I don't care how scary Arverni looks with Rikingatorix's elite, which is, I think, what you had, right? Yeah. It's the one where four yes. warbands become yep. legions. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, yeah, that one. That one is honestly, it is really powerful as Arverni, but it's not scary as Rome. Rome should just ignore her King Atorix and go beat up everywhere else. It was um, just terrifying. Well, that's, because... that, but that that's what he. There was he, we got trapped by the cards there too because right. Garrick pretty much had to take circumvallation, which he uh... did. So that's... he was going to he was going to beat me up and then. I was He's on got my me way. by the throat, and I, I was sucker on my way punch to beating up Hector. Yes, and I got pulled over by the event, and like I wasn't even necessarily going to follow through, but at the very least, it seemed worth taking. And yeah, because it, it, there. it tied. Yeah, it tied me up. Right. It, it tied up uh, whatever I left there. And it sounds then, like this is a perfect example of an event being a trap. <laughs> it it does seem like it, but it you know it's it's one of those ones we it was a trap in hindsight. I don't know if it. Could have been predicted to have been it one. just it no i think you had to do what you did it just it just worked out that the way everything fell after that yeah and maybe i should have just left maybe i should have just left you alone but i could not if i did that i was going to lose because i had all three i had all three tribes i think yeah mm. i mean one big problem for me as rome was i had a bunch of my legions out but not a lot of Auxilia? I was so, I was literally yeah. just gonna say both of you Badger in this game and I, I came in halfway through last game, but I noticed last game that there were like way too few auxilia on the board. Right. In right. this game, I don't think Badger ever put any out. Um nope. and that is uh very important for Rome. Like yeah. you really if you don't have every single auxilia on the map almost by the time the first winter rolls around, then you're uh, a little worried about your ability to be effective. So that's why I was also being defensive, yeah. because I had too few auxilia and too many legions, and Badger had, okay. you know, like, almost every warband I, I was, had yeah, on I the was, board. Yeah, I was, I was full up with green guys. Yeah. Well, I got, these, I got these four out on an event. That's true. That's you, true. you have more auxilia than I think I had. And I had one more yeah. region than you have right now, or something. And yeah. then... I don't know. I think I probably... Taking this German event was probably the right thing to do. I Yeah, that was definitely good. It's unfortunate that Alpine tribes came out and allowed Lily to go do this. At least, unfortunate for Rome. Uh, that normally is very hard for Adui to get all the way up there that quickly. I think that would have been yeah, a really cool really long-term thing to see how this would have played out for Lily. Just oh, it, it would have been hard to yeah, dislodge right. Lily from that area. Well, so and it, then she could have really been a pain yes, for exactly. Garrick, too. That, that's a good spot to be a leveler for anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, Lily, Lily's in a very good position in terms of like where the allies are. Uh, and the ability to spread out into weird corners. And That's as what... long as you've as long as you've got the money, yep. As as the blue, yeah. And that all was just you the need thing. is money and a single to... warbands. She just needed to start earning some more money because she was having a little trouble there. But yep. yeah, it, this was a cool game. Yep. I haven't played a game of Falling Sky yet that I wasn't. Very entertained by. Yep. <laughs> well, it's getting late. Uh, thanks, y'all, for playing. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll be back with more coin at some point. These are turning into War Game Fridays, so maybe, maybe next Friday. <laughs> anyway, uh, until then, have a great one. We will catch you next time. Uh, see you later.